What is this? Uh, when America was first discovered, Vikings landed during or landed there during the Great Migration period, around 1000 AD, by mistake. This isn't them. This is like the second, third, or third time Vikings landed? A less significant event. Okay. It's a good night for mapping the stars. Uh, Cheyenne? Is it just Cheyenne? I hope it is. We honor our ancestors by recording their place in the cosmic spider web. We should honor them by living in the present, not by recording the past. Child, don't make me build some steps so I have somewhere to send you on time out. Hey, can I have this? No. I just want a piece of it. Up to boat. What's a boat, especially what looks like a viking boat, doing on a hill? Hello? Oh. Oh, goodness. Hello, fellow dead. Hey, so, what happened here? Haha, <laughs> it is a funny story, actually. We were out vikinging about. You know, looking for monasteries to raid and lost sheep to plunder. When this rude storm came out of no place, it sucked the ship right out of the water and spun us for the longest time. Of course, for me, it did not feel so long. This oar stabbed me in the livables. When Ghost me woke up, we were here. Wherever here is. Not that it matters to me. I presume you and that hungover looking man are here to take me to Valhalla? Well, yes, but in a more real and important way, no. <laughs> Don't listen to him. A designated Valhallic Knight will be with you soon. We're here to catalog your ore, since it killed such a mighty warrior. Oh, here you go then. I'll just wait here for the Valkyrie to come, so. Yes, a Valkyrie. That's the word I meant. Okay, we got the ore, cool. The gods have sent us to this new land to spread their word and begin new lives. Well, not Sven. They sent him here to die. Aww. <laughs> What's the damage? Inhales through teeth. Doesn't look good. <laughs> you see here? Right where this big hole is? I see it, I see it. Well, that shouldn't be there. It's the wrong place. For a hole, I mean. When we crashed into this hill, the hole just crumbled. You're lucky it held that long. Whole thing was infested with termites. Oh no, will it cost much to repair? Cost much? Chief, you could have you could have all the gold and silver in the known no worlds and it'd do you no good. <laughs> They're too heavy, the boat would sink. No, you need wood, and we don't know where the nearest forest is. A pile of discarded rotten wood. That's the kind of thing I can make use of. The wood is floating away! Well, not when Hildegard is on guard. On guard! Dang it, I guess if I want wood, I need to get rid of her. You could try trading her some sheep? Um, bust a drum? It got bashed in the storm. A shame, really. The chief loves a good drum circle. I wonder if there's anything we could do to fix the broken one. I won't let the wind blow these away a second time. <laughs> She's stopping me from taking them. I need to distract her if I want it. Do I want a broken drum that badly? So I need rotten wood and a and a busted drum. Huh, a working drum, it seems to be guarded. Wait, why would I need this if I could just get the working one? To think all these shields and they did nothing to protect us from the storm. <laughs> the mast stayed strong through the whole thing. I don't mind saying, I did a fine job with it. Of course, if it had snapped, we'd not have been sucked into that freak vortex and dropped in this strange new land. It is a very nice mask, though. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what to do in this situation. I guess I'll just loiter around all this broken stuff for no real reason at all. Cool. How did you get back here? The moon? I don't understand, but okay. You were admiring the chief's mighty wooden goose, yes? It's okay to feel intimidated. We cannot all stick massive ducks on the front of our longships. If it were so simple, we'd all be chiefs. Fair. Okay, so I need a distraction, and I can come back. What about a toy? Dang, okay, that's fine. Leave. Um, so I assume we could fix the drum with the skin. They seem to be mapping, mapping out the stars on these animal skins. Oh, but I can't take them, at least not yet. Okay. Next rift it is, then. Those fun hats suggest we're visiting the Puritans. She doth maketh me feel... Uneaseth? Uneaseth? Uneasy, I doth mean. Doth we? Me thusly, for she weareth the vibrant colors of the old festive season and sings merry folk songs and... and... Can't... Th 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 can't we just dislike her for being a womanly folk and dispense with otherly excuses? Nah, brother, we must be wagging a finger and vocal... We must be wagging a finger and vocal in our condemnation of her happiness and cheer. Tis ungodly to find joy in the supposed birthday of the Son of God. Aye, it so happens she be female, but that th -th 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 is subtext. Better we keep her down with a confusing moral stance than any words of truth. Yeah, it's such a shame about all that. Lady in a pointy hat. Welcome, pilgrims. You have journeyed far to get here, even if in some ways you've not traveled very far at all. You can see me? Us? I see many things. 
And to be clear, yes, that includes you too. Oh, I get it. Pointy hat, cauldron cat. You're a wit. Woman who brews and sells beer, yes! Haha, <laughs> that's the only potion on sale here, yes sir! Hmm, she doth speaketh to the very air itself. Likely she communes with a slash the with a slash the devil. Bugger, I forgot they can't see you. <laughs> yeah. Hello, cat. Why does your cat only have one eye? It got poked out on my pointy hat. It's okay though. Gives him a more mystical vibe. Fair? Hut? Does your hut have chicken legs? No, not chicken legs. They are far more troublesome legs of a goose. Honk. Oh no, okay. What's in here now? Tis a special winter brew, traveler. One in which the milk from a cow, the egg from a chicken, and the brandy I stole from a house party are mixed together. <laughs> here, here, lost and pitiful boy. Take this glass so its heat can warm your stray soul and the dairy can coat your heart. Hey, it's eggnog. Yes, the nog of an egg. That is a better name that I had come up with. Or that is a better name than I had come up with. Rye slime. Now with only a 54% chance of salmonella. Oh, yeah. Eggnog is better. Slime Hill? Look at this, termite mound, yay! What's a termite mound doing up here? Where did it come from? Termites, presumably. Yeah, that, that tracks. Okay, well, do you want to log? No? Bash it with this! Okay, hmm. Stone! No. Uh, eggnog! Dang. Okay, well, I guess I can't do anything with the termite mound yet. Figured I'd try everything just in case before I left, but nope! Also, what's this? In case of rogue soul, break glass. <laughs> what's this for? Uh, a SCU. I, w I would want to say an SCU, but anyway. Spirit containment unit. Last thing you want is a random spirit loose in the halls. Like, I would say an, because the way you pronounce that, I assume, is SCU, not SKU. If you do say SKU, then you can say a SKU, yeah. But if you're saying SCU, pronouncing it SCU, you should say an, because S, like the first sound of it is an E, you know, S, right? And so since it's a vowel sound, an S, yeah. Anyway. There you go. Uh, oh, we've already been here, that's right. Um, so this one now. This looks to be the Gilded Era? Home sweet home, sort of. I mean, we're only five to six hundred miles off. We're practically there. Uh, Christmas bells. Yay! That has too many notes. Let's see what we can do to fix it. Oh, we got some bells, yay, cool. That rat is waving a knife at me. Is he really? Is he actually though? Is he? I don't see it, okay. Oh father, I hope that one day we can afford a real house. This one is sticky and doesn't keep the damp out. At least we have the rats to keep us warm. You will need those rats, son. I've bad news. The wall is caved in. I've tossed some behind the house in the hopes it attracts more rats to cuddle. I am going to take that, but only in hopes of using it to make these people's lives better. <laughs> sure. What? I'm serious! Look, buddy, we've all told ourselves lies to justify stealing somebody's gingerbread wall. But you're not better than me. You'll be in your pants at 3 a.m. dugging that kid's house into some warm milk. <laughs> I'm gonna make their lives better, you'll sob as you spill milk on your naked chest. You disgust me. <laughs> okay, we got gingerbread house extension. Cool. I'm sorry, son. I need to pull a quadruple shift in the misery factory. That misery doesn't manufacture itself, you know. That's okay, father. Do you think the extra money will pay for an operation to remove all the extra bones from my body? Extra money? Oh no. I wish I were in the kind of video game that had health packs all over the place. I feel ever so sickly. I have a bucket-shaped hole in my coat that needs filling. Oh, you actually do. Huh. Okay, well we have that now. Uh, factory. Whatever they make in there, it's pumping out the thickest, blackest smoke. I think it's actually a smoke factory. Very popular in my day. Um, so I can't go in, there's still the rat, can't go to the factory, cause like, the gate's not even open. Yay, the music is fixed! Cool. That sounds more like the Christmas jingles I know, yay, okay. So, last one. Oh, this is the switchboard, back before it was lined up for uh, demolishing. A hippie van. I should check it for narcotics. Sadly, there's nothing. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. I did find this neat torch, which I assume means flashlight. Now it was mostly the best of times. It's broken, however. And we're back to being mostly worst times. Cool. Broken torch. Look at that. A torch with no power supply. All my time being Blood Wolf adjacent is paying off. 
If I can get some salty water, copper, and zinc, I know how to make battery. Why not just get a new battery? This is your first adventure game, isn't it, Charles? Okay, I don't know about zinc, but I have the copper here. We could get um, swamp water for the in the bucket, but I don't know about the zinc. I'm not savvy enough in that regard. Here as well, eh, Moon? This is going in my notes. Um, I guess I can go in. Hey, can I have any zinc? It's Merle! I hope we were successful in summoning it. I want to ask for guidance with what I should do in life. This is where you started stealing these, huh? In a great irony, now we'll steal Merle's acorns. I don't know any of these people. Don't drag me into this. Okay, we got acorn seeds. Cool. I hope this works. I found this ritual in a book in the library. Looks like we're trying to perform ritual. So, how exactly are we going to summon the festive spirit? It's an abstract personification of a collective human ideal, Derek, not a cat. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, when my cat goes missing, I get its favorite things together and put them outside. The smell usually helps her find her way home. Again, not a cat. I think he's onto something, though. If we can bring together the elements of the season, maybe we can lure it here? Can we say some magic words? Derek, we're summoning a thing. Of course we're going to say magic words. God. <laughs> so, what are the elements of the season? I guess stuff you'd associate with the holidays? I bet there's five elements. Cause, you know, pentagrams. I mean, we don't have anything better to go on, but that seems like a very random guess. Intuition. A fair point. I want to finally discover if Christmas is real or not. Of course it's real. This little fella caused me a lot of trouble earlier this year. Or will cause me trouble in the future. I'm not sure which is correct. Both? Darn time travel! Okay, toad machine? Why is this machine filled with toads? Where else would you get them? Wait, do you have a toad guy? Can you hook me up? Uh, hey, do you want a log? No, you don't want a log. I thought maybe you'd want a Christmas thing, but nope. Okay. Oh, wait, what? No, he did say a thing! So far, of the five elements I've added, Yule's logs represent generic faith. Eggnog. Eggnog, which represents bad choices? Sort of. Gathering for drinks, which often lead to bad choices. The dark side detective, me, wants to clarify that people can meet for coffee, hot chocolate, tea, water, sodas, and a whole range of non-alcoholic drinks too. I think I need to add more seasonal elements to the fire. Okay. Uh, currently though, I don't have any more, so... Off we go then. This is fine, I guess. I just wish the family business was a bit more rock and roll or something. It's in use right now. You could possess them? Is that something I can do? You're a ghost! You've already mastered the poltergeist the art of stealing things. This is just another skill. And it's safe. For you. Hmm. Darn. Won't let me possess them. This is a moon ray, I take it, to transport oneself there and back? No, no, that doesn't exist. Not yet, maybe. Wait, will it? Will what? This gallows is very strange looking. I see the appeal though. A hanging here would be visible for miles. We don't do that anymore. What? Or what? What do you do with criminals? Usually send them into politics or business. Ah, uh, yeah. What a beautiful night for stargazing. Wait, I think I see something. Oh, but it won't let me possess him still. Curses. Hey, would you like a rock toy? No, he would not. Okay. Oh, I went back down and, <laughs> excuse me, has anyone seen the packet of acorns I brought for the offering? Nope, not me. I brought some chocolate raisins if that's any help. Derek, would you listen to yourself for God's sake? I fear I have been robbed. Perhaps this is the sign I sought? Yes, this is it. I feel it in my adorable bushy tail. From now on, I shall now slave away all summer gathering nuts for the winter. I shall become a master thief and take whatever nuts I want. Thank you, mystery person who stole my nuts. You have given me purpose. I knew it. We we're responsible for Nigel. We we're responsible for, for Merle there. Ah, cool. Look at us changing the world. Okay, well, I need the swamp. Swamp. So I get some salty water. I'll take some life-giving broth. All this time jumping is hard on the body. Okay, we have that now. I have salty liquid and copper. Now I just need some zinc to make my torch battery work. But I don't know how to get zinc. So, that's a thing. Hey, are you zinc? 
A collapse all from Gingerbread House. Unsurprisingly, it was structurally unsound. I'm going to help them! Yeah. Uh, I mean, I could put this here. Or in this dirt. I need to dig them a little home first. You misspelled hole. I said what I said, Charles. All right, with the ore then. I can use this ore to dig a hole here, yeah. Okay, so, acorn seeds. This should lower the carbon footprint of all this time travel stuff. Cool. See, I planted a tree. Who's the vandal now? Probably still you. Only time will tell. Okay. Well, let's jump into the future then. Look at the trees! An oak forest has sprung up. I say sprung up, but it took millions of years to grow. Um, I guess I'll go here. And then... Well, can I not go see the trees? Why not? Why not? Um... Yeah... Why can't I go see the trees? Okay, fine. Oh wait, wood. I don't remember where they were looking for wood. Oh, was it just here? Shoot, who wanted wood? Uh, oh, I've sent Hildegard off to chop some more wood. Okay, it was then. Chop some more wood for us. We should oh yes, because he was saying like the gold and silver wouldn't do you any good. We need wood, but there's none of that. We should have the old boat back in the open waters before Morsgar. I don't know. In case there are non-Viking folks listening, Morsgar is what we call January. Whatever January is. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, taking the rotting wood. You can, but do you really want to? Yes, I do. Of course I do. It got bashed in the storm. A shame, really. Yes. Um, now that the guard is off chopping wood, I can take it and see. But I can't take this one. Please don't take the working drum. I feel like it'll be here a long time, and I'd like some distract- Or I'll be here a long time. I can't rob a man of his post-dying wish. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, leave. Cool. So now we can light this. No, we can't. Still can't light it. Can I... I can't take the animal skins either. Okay. So now I have some wood and a busted drum. So the guy wanted... The guy in the, with the telescope wanted it to be more rocking, so I assume I need to fix the drum and give it to him, but yeah. Where's everyone gone? I don't know. Can I go in the hut? Shut up, Dom. I'm in charge now. Honk? Okay. Hello, cat. Hey, kitty kitty. Don't hey, kitty kitty me. I'm an archduke of hell. What? The uh, meow? Okay, cauldron. No, I was lucky to avoid the salmonella the first time. I don't fancy a double or nothing bet. Good. You're too transparent. I don't want to see that stuff worm its way out in either direction. Climb the hill. Oh. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Noble fellows, this woman doth be accused of celebrating merriment and mirth and Christmas as a whole. Can she not sit in her home waiting for the spring to come so that she may be, be so that she may be, be miserable and judgmental whilst being a few degrees warmer? This noggth egg of hers brings warmth, doth it? Well, if she liketh warmth so much, maybe she'll enjoy being set on fire. I can save you the hassle and tell you I wouldn't like that at all. She brought yon misery on herself, what with her festive cheer and general not miserableness. Aye, tis all too much joy for me. Can she not find sustenance in sorrow like us doth? Suffer not the person who likes Christmas to live. Yeah, humans are terrible. Ah, greetings again, traveler. What happened here? Well, they saw me speak to the air. Not a great look these days. Bad atop all my festive celebrations. They've never had this festive spirit. We're too much for them. So they've built this pyre. Merrily am I, Dad, from the forest that's always been over there, and here we are. <laughs> Please feed my cat and house, but not one to the other. Can I stop this at all, or is this just bound to happen? I'll beat you with rotten wood. No, I'll beat you with primitive tool. I'll cut you free. Alright, bye. Feed the house. Feed it what? What do you want? How do I feed you? Maybe I don't actually have to do that. Also, I just realized his name is small for his age, small for his age, Sam. I like that. I'll put this infested wood here, the rotten wood, and hopefully the, the termites will make me a platform that I can use to trick the sun's light from in the future. Okay, did that, cool. Um, look, I can see they're already checking out their new home. There won't be side effects, will there, to introducing these little critters millions of years before they were meant to be here? Nah, they're gonna be burned alive soon, any soon anyway. 
Sorry, Dino. What? <laughs> Poor Dino. Okay. Um, I hope Dooley is taking good care of me back there. Uh-oh. So, this is the detective's essence. I better be extra careful not to drop- Oh no. Ha! Only joking. I'd never drop this. Well, he dropped it. <laughs> this is our little secret, okay, corpse? <laughs> yeah, maybe stop throwing it into the air. Okay, first millennium. So, that's still a thing. Okay, let's take a step back then. To just here. Well, there's a mound. The turn my mound is tall enough to shine a light from. Cool. Okay. Not that I have the flashlight fixed yet, but... Now that part's done. But we still... Need to fix the drum somehow and get the zinc. Ugh, I don't want to be drawing on animal skins. I want to be playing music on them. Those guys on the hill know what's what. Crashing boats, singing and rocking out. What if I give you this drum? No. But I can't. Uh, okay. Oh, I don't need to go back in there. So we're finished in the Jurassic era. But of course that means we still have things to do in every other era because he hasn't said the same thing about those. For the record, I used the dinosaur toy on Small for His Age Sam. <laughs> he said I'd rather find coal in my stocking. That's so mean. This rudimentary toy is symbolizing friends and family and play. I think I need to add more seasonal elements to the fire. Like bells? Yeah, I mean I can't because I need the like the bells and the water together. Gingerbread house, how about that? This piece of a gingerbread house, which represents two things. Food, which is a staple of gatherings. It also represents that gingerbread is a poor building material. I think it needs to add- oh, one more. How about the primitive tool? No. We're very close. We apparently are missing something, though, that we can pick up. Eggnog, Yule's Log, gingerbread house extension, toys. So we need one more thing to add to this. And I'm using the bells and the swamp water together with zinc for the torch. So I don't think I can use any of these three. I've already tried the tool. Like, the busted drum, I assume again I need to repair that with the animal skin so that I can give it to the indigenous youth up the stairs here so that he can start playing with it so that I can use the telescope. So where am I missing a thing? So I just had to use the, dr the drum on the animal skin. I'm just gonna lean this over here and hope they spot it. Cheyenne, did you bring a broken drum with you? No, you told me to leave my drum at home and focus on the sky. Besides, bringing a broken drum sounds like a pointless thing to have done. Yet there is a broken drum beside you, eh? No, that's not mine. It's got weird markings all over it. I only have cool eagles and wolves etched into mine. Kids today. <laughs> if it is not yours, then perhaps it is a gift from the bearded men who think boats go on land. It's broken, though? Not a great gift. Cheyenne, they don't know how boats work. Don't expect too much from them. <laughs> Wise. Come, let us fix it for them. What do you think of these truly sick beats? Well, the drum certainly is mended. That sounds like my drum? It is my drum, and you're rocking out with it. Come, my new friends, let's jam. What's she saying, father? I think she wants to communicate through the international language of rock. Music really is great, isn't it? Letting people express themselves and communicate regardless of language. If you love it so much, why don't you take it home and smooch it? You know, I just might. <laughs> we got music. The language transcending properties of music. I thought we'd take the drum with us, but I guess not. Okay, let's just go. Dooley must be freezing without a jacket. Did he take mine? Nope. Okay. Another sugar detective. Oh, Dooley, I shan't. I'm developing a bit of a pudgy tum-tum. I wish I was trim and powerful like you. I keep telling you, detective, it's simple math. Calories in, and then you multiply those calories by the square root of something else and take away whatever you burn at the gym. A little tip. I get Emily to burn stuff for me at the gym. It's more efficient. Anyway, then you do more number stuff and you'll be buff like me. <laughs> Easy. Great. I don't like that he's having her burn things at the gym. Okay, let's go to recent history. In. Up the stairs. Oh, oh, suddenly you're not using this? I didn't even give you the music. Oh, okay. I'm so glad I'm from a musical family and not some boring bunch of sky nerds. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, that's it. Okay, music is probably the final piece then. I wonder what's out there. Well, I'll give up all my reign of festive fear if you get me down from here. 
but we got an achievement for that. The Grump of Christmas Past. Yeah, that was the Christmas episode in the last game, the first Dark Side Detective. Um, which again, if you want to see, is on my channel, my other channel, Rizgrest Star 2. Which, there might be a link to that in the description. Like the, the playlist itself, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's music and the fire. Music, a universal language which brings us together to express ourselves and celebrate what makes us the same and what makes us different. Something is happening! Hello! <laughs> it worked! Not again. Look, it's Christmas. I don't work on Christmas. That explains a lot, actually. Alright, Chuck. Maureen. You know one another? I thought we did. Maureen, please, not now. It was a slander piece. I bore my soul to you and you turned it into a storybook. It's considered a masterpiece. It was my life. Uh, this is awkward, but can I ask you to come with us? Why? I'll tell you what I told the judge. I don't know how those guns or bodies got into the trunk of my car. Do you even have a warrant? I think she's not going to come willingly. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem like it. Holy shit. <laughs> Verse down my spine, it worked. We didn't add anything to the fire. It must have been my pishwishing that summoned it. It is real. I owe my nephews and nieces so many gifts. <laughs> okay, well... What if I make you come by force? No, okay. Well, now what do I do? Okay, so turn of the first millennium, we're done with that. With the Vikings and the Native Americans, we're done with that. So we still have this, because we still need to fix the torch. And we still have these three to go. So I don't think we do anything in the prehistoric era right now. I think we're down to these three. But I don't have any new items as a thing. And going back through them, there doesn't seem to be anything different, um, at least visually, since I did the last thing with like the drum. The only thing that changed was like, they're rocking out now, and I was able to use the telescope, but it didn't actually really benefit me. Like it gave me an achievement, but that was it. Um, so it didn't help with progress, you know? And then this ghost is here now, but she won't come with us, so... I don't know what to do about that. So I alt tapped to make sure out of paranoia that I was still recording. I saw that I had some messages on Discord. It was my friend who was the one who bought me this game and she gave me the report of how long it took her to beat this mission because we were doing it in basically the same time today. Uh, said that she'd already done it. Asked if I wanted to hit. So I said, sure. And she said, the item that you need for the ghost is not in any of the portals. And I was already on the screen. So there's one thing to click and it's this, which I clicked earlier and I thought it was just a descriptive thing. But what's this for? That's right, an SCU, Spirit Containment Unit. Okay, so break the glass. <laughs> now we're good. Immediately, as soon as she said the hint, I was like, I know what, I know what it is. <laughs> so thank you, Morgan. All right, let's uh, use this. I need you to come somewhere with me. I have a job for you. No, please, I already said I don't work today. Sorry, I really need this. Where where did you get that SCU from? Have you even done an immaterial handling course? Help! <laughs> All right, well, we have that now. So now let's leave. I wish this would hurry up. I worry about what Dooley is doing to keep himself entertained through all this. Oh, no. <laughs> See, I'm not here alone. It's not scary. <laughs> okay, well, let's go not here. Let's go to Puritan times and see if we can spook these fellas. I think these people could do with a little help in appreciating the seasonal cheer. What up, witches? I'm here to slather you in festive cheer. I will say, though, before we light the pyre, that I did like the smell of her nog. I and her singing was most uh, careless. If we're being franketh, it did lift up an otherwise dreary timeth of year. Yes, mayhaps we were too hasty in our fervor to burn this woman. Let us instead release her and drink deeply of her noth egg. Aye, we shall danceth, and singeth, and argue about politics instead. Yay! Thank you, Traveler. How can I repay your help here on here this day? Do you know where I find zinc? Nope, sorry. Oh. But find me again and I'll have what you need. Oh? Okay. So I assume you're here. You know, I don't want to think about it. Yep, there she is. Oh, this is cheerier. Welcome, I've been expecting you. How are you still alive? It's easier than you might think. The secret is not dying. 
I have your zinc, which, for anyone wondering why I'd have some, is a cofactor for enzymes involved in alcohol production and also plays a role in extracellular activity. Oh, that's very specific. Did you look it up on Wikipedia? I get it, cause which? I don't know what that means. This is a hundred years before computers. Oh, well thanks. Okay, I have everything I need. I just pop these two metals into the salt water, hook them up with cables I happen to already have on me to keep the puzzle from dragging on, and hey presto, we have a makeshift battery. <laughs> cool. So now with the battery, we go back here, we plug this bad boy in. It's a bit clunky, but we have light. St stay away from the light! Haha, <laughs> a bit of death humor for you, there, or for you there. Please don't stay away from the light. I don't want to have to hunt you down. Super torch. Put this here. I just have to climb up here and get the angle right. This should do it. It has happened, Yule. Oh, I do hope you can see this from wherever us cave people believe the dead go. I can see it, Bongo. I can. It brings ghost tears to my ghost eyes. Come, creepy robed man. You can take me to the afterlife now. This life has given me all I seek from it. All right, let's go. We can go through now. Finally, Ali. I was starting to sober up there for a moment. We made it to the back office. It looks like a bomb hit this place. Oppenheimer was here with his nuclear... Dikirisis? Dikiri. Oh, daiquiris. That's daiquiri, right? I ne- I'm not- I don't do alcohol, and so I never see it. But I know of the word daiquiri. I just didn't know it was spelled like that. Honestly, if I wasn't dead, they'd have killed me. And let's just fix this machine. Now to open this and see if I can update the number. Oh, it looks like each number is made up from three segments. I just need to find the right combination to move the display onto the number 324. Okay. So then we don't want this one. Um, or the top. Now we need the middle change, though. There we go. Okay, that should be the display updated. The display has moved forward. The next ghost in line can be processed. After the holidays, you mean. After the... Oh. It looks like things largely worked out for old Chuck. Unless... You won't tell anyone, will you? About my screw-up. Hmm. Maybe we can strike a deal? I hope you don't mind the extra... Mouths to feed. They had nowhere else to go. When you brought all these guests home, I wasn't sure we'd have enough food for everyone. Thankfully, this house was built on an old abattoir, so there are enough turkey ghosts to go around. <laughs> Yay! Detective, I can't thank you enough. It's not exactly what you wanted, but it's something? I can't I live forever, Detective. Being able to come back for the holidays to see McGarry and Gawain means the world to me. Anyway, I best go spend what time I have with them before the office opens up and I moved on. Have a good one. There's one thing I don't understand. Why didn't you just get the missing ticket from Gary and just give it to somebody who wanted to go home? You know, instead of going on this elaborate journey to fix a not broken machine. Guys, you're not answering? <laughs> Eat up, everyone! <laughs> no, Buzz is right. Case closed. I mean, on one hand, I assumed that, obviously, because for the investigation, you need something else. But I also assumed that Gary no longer had the ticket. Otherwise, yeah, that would have been... Yeah, that would have been simple. Yeah, so... That was the rest of Dark Side Detective of Fumble in the Dark. There is this classified in the coming soon. Like, um, if... Like, when that case comes out, because I assume it'll come out eventually. If y'all really want to see it, like, you know, do let me know in the comments and I could, like, come back for one more video of this. Um, or two, depending if those are two cases, because it would probably take me enough for two videos. Um, but otherwise, we are definitely calling this series here, because no need to replay any. I know there are achievements to get, but I'm not 100%ing every game that I play. <laughs> Even though I kind of have been for, like, a couple in the past, you know, the past few. Um, yeah, so, I wrapped it up, but one more thing I want to talk about, because I didn't actually talk about that case, like, I was glad that for the most part it was fairly straightforward. There were definitely a couple little things that got me tripped up, I mean, I think couple is actually pretty accurate. I remember two parts where I got stuck, you know? Um, I didn't know how to capture the ghost, and I was walking around for a while, and I didn't know what to do with the broken drum. Like, I tried using the animal skin, I tried, um, using items on the animal skin, like, uh, the, the primitive tool in particular, because I was like, maybe I could cut a piece of it off and then repair it, but 
I didn't need to get animal skin to repair the drum. I just needed to set the drum down, like use the drum on the animal skin. But I also tried using the drum on her, I'm pretty sure. And so when that didn't work, I was like, well, I guess that's not it. So it was just like a very specific thing that I needed to do um, that like, sure, makes sense enough. But honestly, I think handing it to her probably would have been a better idea. Because since basically what we ended up doing was just setting it down beside her. So I think it's smarter to use it with her than to use it with the animal skin. But whatever. Um, and then the other thing with the, the SCU, like, I don't blame myself for getting stuck because I assumed that that non-portally area was really just, like, a hub to access the other places, not that you had to do anything there. And I had already, like, you know, read the one description in that area, which was for the SCU. But, and so, you know, once I read that, I thought it was just a joke, put it in the back of my mind, didn't think about it anymore. Um, so yes, thank you once again to Morgan for helping with that. Um, and even if I might have mentioned this in the credits, I do want to say that, like, I enjoyed this game. It was funny. Um, there were definitely some times, of course, where, you know, after playing for, like, three hours at a time, some of the humor would get just, like, a little old. Um, because a lot of it is just the same sort of thing with, like, duly misunderstanding what you're saying or whatever, right? Um, and I still wish that some of these cases were shorter. Obviously, some of that is just me not fig figuring them out very quickly. Um, but even this one, which I think was one of the shortest cases, it still took me, like, an hour and 15 minutes to solve, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, right. Obviously, I cut a lot out when I play this, but, um, recording right now, I have been recording this particular session for, yeah, an hour 20 minutes, so. You know, just one of those things, like, with Darkseid Detective 1, I felt like there was a better balance of, like, shorter cases and longer cases, because longer cases are good, because you get to be invested, and you get to, like, you know, at the end, you're like, oh, I solved so much. I'm so bloody smart. But then sometimes it's nice to just have a short, straightforward one that you can just knock out because that's another case done and you get that more immediate gratification. Um, so I think that's cool. And um, I think that they should have balanced the case lengths a little bit more in this one. Um, I don't necessarily blame them for making them all longer because I think that just they just assumed that that meant more quality or better quality. And to a lot of people, that's probably the case too. But for me, I would have preferred more of a balance. Even if that meant more cases, and that should ideally mean more cases. Like right now, there are only seven. Um, hopefully, if you're throwing smaller ones into the mix, there'd be more than that to balance it. Um, but maybe too, like it's probably easier to make longer cases because you really only need to come up with one like storyline for that case. Um, and then it's a lot easier, I would imagine, to come up with obstacles in a single storyline than to come up with a whole new thing. But yeah. Um, now I'll jump to where I wrap this up, or the credits, whichever will- I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I do hope that you enjoyed this series. You know, if you did, please let me know so in the comments below. And again, if you would like to see me play Dark Side Detective 1, where I live-streamed it, um, you can check out that playlist in the description below. So, thank you all again so much for watching, and with that, we're calling it here, so have a good one, everybody.